Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman series. So today in this video, we are going to see what are the reports are available in the Postman. Okay, so Postman, by default, you don't have any, any default report inside the Postman UI with this interface, but you can, you can generate some HTML report on top of Newman. Okay, so the Newman has a capability to, to generate some report by using the Node.js because the Newman is written on top of Node.js. Okay. So we have one client HTML report and we have one more report called HTML extra report. Okay, so we have client Newman HTML report. Okay, and we have one more report which is which is named as HTML extra. Okay. So this both reports are coming from Newman and the Newman is uh, done on top of Node.js. Okay. So now first uh, in this video, we will see about the Newman HTML report. In my next video, I will cover about the HTML extra report. Okay. So if you want to use the Newman HTML report, so you can simply go to the Google and you can type like this Newman report HTML. Okay. Newman reported HTML. So here you can see HTML report for the Newman that provides the information about the collection run in the HTML part. Okay. So you have to install the, this dependency. Okay. So again, it is, it is coming from the NPM, which is Node Package Manager. So you have to install this dependency. So this is similar to how we have installed the new man. Okay, you can simply copy this command. So when you use G, it is going to install this dependency on your computer global level. Okay, so if you feel like I want to use for particular directory, then you can go to some folder, particular folder directory. You can install the dependency in the particular folder also. Okay, so in that, in that if you want to install on the particular directory, you don't want to use it as a G. Okay. So now let's go here. I'm just copy pasting this. I'm going to install this dependency. So now you can see after this installation is installation is done. Okay, so the current version is installed as a 1.0.5. So you can go here to the version to confirm which is the latest one here. Okay, one is the latest, the latest one is 1.0.5. Okay. So now let's go to the readme. So after installing this, so how do I generate the report? Okay, so it is very simple. So again, you have to use the same Newman command. So where Newman run, and you have to provide your collection file path, and you have, if you have any environment variable JSON, you can pass them or data, anything. Okay, so after the end of the line, you have to provide this additional command, which is hyphen R, R is nothing for report. Okay, either you can use for R, you can, or, or otherwise you can use for hyphen hyphen reporters. Okay. And end of the time, you have to provide the HTML. Okay. Hyphen or HTML. This is the only two input you have to additionally add. Okay. So now let's go here. Okay. I'm going to run this collection. Uh, let's take this uh, Newman collection along with this Newman environment. And we have something like a data input also. Okay, so let me go to this new man collection. Okay, let me check, uh, does it really has input that is coming from the, yeah. So this inputs are coming from our data sheet. Okay, so now if I want to run this collection, so I'm going to use collection enormous variables as well as the data sheet. Okay, so let's go here and let me copy this file location. Newman collection JSON. Okay, so come here, Newman run. This is my collection JSON. So after that, if I want to use the environment variable, I have to use hyphen T. Okay, sorry, hyphen E for environment variable. So let's copy the environment variables. So Newman, this is the one. Okay, I'm copying this location of file JSON. So after this, I want to use the data input data variables right so for that we have to use as a hyphen t okay so where is our data i think this is the data okay so let me copy that file path also okay this is a csv file okay so now let me paste it here. okay now i'm going to run this without any report okay So now the collection is running. So we have two input in the in the CSV file. That's the reason it is running for two iterates. Okay, and you can see some the default report is coming from the Newman. Okay, this some basic reports are coming in the table format. Correct. Right? So now when we go for this HTML report, I'm just clicking the app arrow to bring the history. 
So now what we have to use hyphen r HTML. Okay. So this is a command we have to use as per this uh, library. You can see hyphen r HTML. So now when we run this command, so you can you can you can see here within this directory, correct? Because we are running our collection in the particular this directory. Okay, you can see user surround and desktop postman tutorial. Okay. In this directory, one folder will be created by the name of new man. Okay. If you open that new man folder, you can see the HTML report. Okay. So now you can see there are no new man folder here. Okay. So now I am going to run this. Okay. I have clicked on the enter button. So now let's see. Okay, so no such a file directory CSV. Oh, okay, I have not given the space after the CSV. That's a reason. Okay, so space hyphen or custom. Let's see now. Yeah, you can see. You can see, I mean, there are no errors. Okay, this got executed and it is written back to the terminal normal. Okay, so this report is not coming. Right? The default HTML, I mean, the default table report is not coming because we are using this reporter library, okay, which will override our human setup. Okay, so now how do I confirm my report is generated? So you can go to your folder directly. Here you can see the human folder is created just now, which is 1149 my local time. Okay, so now if you open this and you can see one report is generated, right? So if I open this report, Okay, so this is how the report will look. Okay, and it is coming from your local, I mean, file directory, which is this particular path. Okay, so here you can see this is a new man report. Okay, this is a collection name and this is the time that you executed. So you export with what is the new man version that is getting exported here. So number of iteration is two, total request is two, and there are some test scripts also. It's coming. Okay. And when you, you can see total run and total data received and average response time, error, any failures, everything you can see here. So this is a URL, right? All the details you can see, status code, everything will come. Okay, this is a basic HTML report that come from the new map. Okay, so we have some other report which I have told, right? Which is HTML extra, which has some uh, better UI and with, with, with some extra details as well. Okay, so it will be give you the detailed overview on the report like a so how we integrate the extend report right for selenium or unload report so similarly this one also provide you the detailed uh, results and review i mean detailed uh, execution of your test okay so this is for newman report okay so the in our next video we'll see about the html extra report okay so make sure you have installed this dependency okay so after this make sure the folder is it has to create automatically. You don't want to create a new man folder. Okay, now let's go to and run it again. Okay, so now we can see here. So it was generated 11.49 a.m. Okay, and it is coming with along with the timestamp. So now we can see one more report also generated with 11.51. Okay, so since it is going by the uh, name, I mean the timestamp, so new man run report and with the timestamp. So every time the new report will be generated here. Okay. So there are a couple of options. For example, I want to export this report to some other path. Okay. So when you scroll down, you can see export reporter. Okay. You can see the path. So here, what we have to do, you know, you have to define some porting directory, I mean, some file directory, if you want to export the report. Okay. So for example, I'm going here, I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to name it as a report. Okay. So now I want to create the report under this particular folder. So now what we can do, you can just go and click on the app arrow to bring this history. So after this, you have to pass this command. Okay. So which is hyphen hyphen reporter hyphen HTML hyphen export. And you have to provide your file. Form. Okay. So for example, in our case, so we are going to export the file under this particular location. Okay, I'm just copying this one. Okay, I have placed it. So now let's go and run this. Yeah, the execution is done. So now if I come back to this report folder, you can see under this report, one new report is generated. So if I go back to the new man folder, you can see 
the new report is not generated here. Okay, it got generated under this particular folder, which is 1152 my local time. Okay, so if I open this one, so here also it's going to be a same report. Okay, the only thing is we are changing the location of the report. That's it. Okay, so for example, when you work as a, uh, some project, so there should be some common folder or share folder where you have to look at the report. So in that case, what you can do, you, know, you can go with the particular path where everybody has the access to open and see the report. Okay, so these are the couple of options and you can see the report template also you can use it. Okay, this one also you can try. So that's all about this video. This is a new man reporter HTML. So we have one more report, which is HTML extra report that I will cover in my next video. Thank you guys.